Hello everyone. I am Dr. Burke Caritas. We will talk about the penile prosthesis, that is, the happiness stick. There are some inaccuracies in our heads. We will try to fix them. I'm going to talk about the one-piece prosthesis, because we don't use a lot of two-piece anymore. But three-piece prostheses have become very expensive, especially with the increase in the dollar and the euro. Therefore, we mostly turn to the one-piece prosthesis, and we especially prefer the newly released one-piece prostheses because their capacity to break, that is, to want, has increased. But in general, what I will explain is that all prostheses are also valid for one-piece or multi-piece prostheses. Now, of course, when it comes to prostheses, many questions come to mind. To a person, you will no longer benefit from medication or injections. When we say the next stage is the prosthesis, the reaction is mostly that I should not buy the prosthesis. Of course, something like this comes to life in one's mind or in one's head. Even if I didn't know it, I would think of something like a hand and foot prosthesis. There are really a lot of questions in people's minds. In fact, the reason why there are so many reactions to the prosthesis is partly due to us, as I explained in my previous videos. Because we cannot explain the prosthesis well, we can't explain what a prosthesis is. When we meet with the patient, we say let's put a prosthesis on you. That's all we say. What are the benefits of the prosthesis? What are the harms? Will it change the feeling? Will it affect ejaculation? Will it affect urine output? We're not talking about things like that. In fact, the blame lies with us. You can take that as a bit of an apology in this video. Now, one of the most important questions is whether it is obvious that he has a prosthesis when viewed from the outside. I say this as an irony. I say, you know, let's put on the prosthesis, go to your spouse of 20 years, after 6 to 8 weeks, even she will not understand that you have a prosthesis. From the outside, we cannot say that a person has such a prosthesis as if it is written on his forehead. Of course, there is no such thing. Usually this perception is realized from the following. Everyone thinks of it like hand and foot prosthetics. Because when a prosthesis is attached to a person's hand or foot, it is obvious when viewed from the outside. But we place the prosthesis in the penis. That is, we place it inside the skin. Therefore, when viewed from the outside, the penile prosthesis is not visible. Will I be able to enjoy it? In other words, the question of whether I will be able to enjoy an orgasm as in the previous period is also important. Yes, you will be able to get it. Because we place the prosthesis in the hardened parts of the penis in the following areas. The part of the penis that receives pleasure is through the skin and the nerves under the skin. I mean, look, it's happening on the side of the nerves that look yellow over there. We have nothing to do with this place. Therefore, when we place only the bilateral prosthesis here, we do not change the perception mechanism of the penis. In other words, when you enter the vagina again, you feel the warmth of the vagina, the softness of the vagina and the slippery feeling of the vagina. Does it affect ejaculation? Let's answer that right away. Another version. The penis is split in half. We place our prostheses here. The urinary tract is here. Therefore, we have nothing to do with urine, from near to far. Hence what inhibition is prevented. In other words, there is a disorder in urination, nor does it have an effect on ejaculation. Therefore, the answer to the following question is simple. Young people are mostly asking this. Will I be able to have children? Of course, will there be a shortening? The answer to that is yes, but I put two question marks about this shortening. That is, the things to be done before and after the surgery can be minimized. At the end of about 2 to 3 millimeters, there may be a shortening of 2 to 3 millimeters. This is actually not a very important situation for someone who cannot get hard at all in a relationship. Will it always stand tall? In the past, the answer to this question was yes. But now, in prostheses, especially in the bendable prostheses that we have been using recently, this is the only one I have seen. We put it on both sides in this way. This prosthesis is right and left. These prostheses have a lot of ability to bend. The prosthesis I am holding in my hand right now is a prosthesis that is famous in the world for its ability to bend. It is able to bend at an angle of about 135 degrees. When viewed from such a frontal view, your penis does not stand upright all the time. You can curl it in your hand. This curling feature also varies according to the size of the penis. A person with a small penis may also have a little less curling. This prosthesis can really bend about 135 degrees. For him, the question of whether he will always stand tall is no. Does everyone wear the same prosthesis? No. We don't wear the same kind of prosthesis for everyone. 
When we decide on prosthetic surgery, the prosthetic company also comes. Because it brings so many prostheses, all kinds of sizes. Here is from 9mm to 10mm, up to 14mm thick, here is up to 20cm long. For example, in my hand, for example, this is a 9mm thick prosthesis, this is 10mm, this is an 11mm thick prosthesis. During the surgery, it is determined which of them we will wear what, including their size. It is not right for us to make any predictions here before this surgery. This is evident during surgery. Therefore, we do not wear prostheses of the same size and width for everyone. Where is the surgery site? The surgical site is just below the penis. About 2 centimeters from a single incision where the penis and eggs meet. Sometimes we make a vertical and sometimes a transverse incision and place the prosthesis both on the right and left from this area. Is there a risk of infection? Will my body reject it? Will there be an infection? And this is the most important question. And this is the situation that causes the most anxiety among the people. Yes, there is a risk of infection. Every surgery already has a risk of infection. Again, I put two question marks. Here's why. Our risk of infection is now less than 1%. There are three reasons for this. One, we prepare patients very well for surgery. Two, we take care of them very well after the surgery. Three new types of prostheses, antibiotic prostheses. What does that mean? Before we put it on the body, we put it in the antibiotic solution, and the substance on this absorbs the antibiotic. Therefore, it prevents bacteria from sticking to this prosthesis and therefore reduces infection. This feature of the new type of prosthesis is very good. That's why our risk of infection seems to be much less than before. When is the return to normal life? This is also an important question. We rest at home for about two to three days. After seven days, we return it to normal life. When will I have intercourse? Average after six weeks. Would this be three weeks? Not. Will it be two weeks? Not. Will it be four weeks? There is no bargain about this. Because patients really recover very well at the end of the fourth week, they have nothing left. They're also in a hurry. They haven't been in a relationship in years. But especially in diabetics, it is necessary to complete the sixth week. Because these six weeks are very important for the prosthesis to integrate with the body and not to get infected. Can an MRI be done? You have a herniated disc, or you have a problem with the brain, or you have a problem with the foot at another job. Can an MRI be taken? Yes, it can. Is it visible on x-rays at airports? We encounter this very often because most of our patients from abroad ask about it. The standard routine is that when you pass through x-rays, that is, chirping devices, nothing is obvious. However, there are cabins like this. They are doing body scans. Since these are already x-rayed, the prosthesis appears here. Here, too, we give you an identity card. In other words, the company gives a valid identity card all over the world. When something like this happens, you show that ID card. Such practices already exist mostly in the United States. These prostheses are also FDA repaired, that is, they are affiliated with the Ministry of Health of the U.S. Food and Health Administration. FDA approved. Therefore, if you are going to enter the United States, for example, you are entering with an American-made product that has been approved by the United States. There was no problem in any of our patients. The people who work there are more or less aware of this situation. So here, yes, it can come out on a body scan. There is no crowing here during normal routine travels. As a result, if the penile prosthesis is performed correctly in the appropriate patient, at the appropriate time and in the appropriate way, we achieve a very pleasing and satisfactory result for both himself and his job. That's why they say it's a happy person. Thank you.